From the studio that owns awesome heroes like Batman and Superman comes a film about the worst heroes ever. And that's from their actual trailer. <laughs> Way to go, guys. You want us trailered yourself. Way to go. Suicide Squad. <laughs> After the mixed reception to their last movie, Warner Brothers probably mm -hmm. regret spending just six weeks on the script for this one. Now, they have four short months what? to reshuffle their executives, <laughs> juggle seven different cuts, reshoot the third act, deliver on all the Joker stuff they already put in the trailers, and manage a director who takes shots at their biggest competition. Marvel! It's like there's some kind of, hmm, what's the word? What, we some kind of suicide squad? Man, this thing is riding itself. <laughs> With Superman level threats on the rise, Amanda <laughs> Waller has a solution. Uh. She's bringing together a bunch of bad guys to save the world. This girl can do some pretty incredible things. From the bad guys she brought together to save the world. Do your worst, bitch. They're high on attitude, but dangerously low on relevant skills. Like a man who's half crocodile, half racial stereotype. Any other requests? <laughs> a guy who shoots fire, but <laughs> won't. I'm gonna die in peace before I raise my fist again. <sighs> One chicken chomp an exposition machine who blurts out whatever the plot needs him to. We gotta cut her heart out! Here comes Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. Her heart's out! We can end this! <laughs> a drunk guy with a boomerang. Some Steven Seagal looking ass rope door. <laughs> a 90 pound girl with a bat. Sorry. A lady who just kind of shows up and barely says anything and has a magic sword yeah. and isn't even a bad guy. Why is she here? Yeah. This is Katana. She's got my back. I would advise not getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of its victims. That's good to know. <laughs> and Will Smith doing everything he can to save this movie. If she can't cut it <laughs> and her grays start slipping, I need you to wipe people that thing. Mm -hmm. You know how y'all do. Oh, yeah. In a world of flying men and monsters, this is the only way to protect our country. Is it, though? You'll love these good guys Isn't gone bad, though? but they're going up against bad guys uh. who are even better than the bad good guys with bad <laughs> bad guys like the putties from Power Rangers with caviar all over their faces, Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple, and the Enchantress, an ancient spirit released by the world's worst archaeologist. Watch Cara Delevingne make the jump from modeling to acting like the wavy inflatable arm things outside car dealerships as she formulates an evil plot to destroy the world with, <laughs> wait, let me guess, it's a sky beam, isn't it? Surrounded by rubble and a disposable CGI army too, right? Man, this really sounds like a job for the Avengers or really any other movie in the last 10 years. Uh, yeah. But we know fans are only here for one reason, the Joker, and they're barely gonna get any of it. Right. Experience Jared Leto's intense method acting that blurred the line between actor, character, and total douchebag. <laughs> Who did you send used condoms to? Oh, everybody. As he does in just 10 minutes of screen time, what no other actor has been able to do, make the Joker totally suck in oh, an interpretation on. that combines James Franco and Spring Breakers. Look at my <laughs> With Ace Ventura. This <laughs> handsome hunka hunka. Oh, righty then. And the cat, I think? <laughs> <laughs> it's so edgy, huh. you could cut him out of the movie and it wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> Get ready for I a film him. that loves exposition almost as much as it hates helicopters. <laughs> as they literally spell out who the characters are, yeah. tell you how they're feeling at all times. She seems nice. That is just a mean lady. I like her. You are evil and keep reminding you who's good and who's bad the worst <laughs> of the worst these are villains amanda you notice these are criminals we're bad guys and i'm the bad guy don't forget we're the bad guys we get it you all suck <laughs> so gear up with the film we all thought would put the dc extended huh. universe back on track but instead gave us two hours of characters trying to look cool to a soundtrack yeah. that feels like someone scanning through a radio dial <laughs> with great performances by Will Smith, Margot Robbie, and Jai Courtney of all people that get canceled out by this hula hooping witch and this manorexic juggalo. But hey, at least Wonder Woman looks pretty good, right? Starring One-Eyed Willie, Violent Davis, Daddy's Little Cosplayer, Keith Lesser, That's Not a Noif, Dia de los Matos, <laughs> to Crocatour, Just the Worst, G.I. Blows, Real American Zero, this is Katana. She's got my back. I would advise not getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of its victims. 
lawnmower man. Am I too soon? I'm too soon. And what it felt like watching this movie. The Boondog Tanes. That was our main satellite up late. Oh no, now all they have left is the satellite they used to film the other satellite. So you have a new comic book movie script for me. Yes sir, I do. It's called Suicide Squad. Sounds dark, what's it about? Well first off, there's a guy who's like, hey, what if Superman had decided to rip the roof off of the Oval Office and fly away with the president? Who would have stopped him? Oh, that sounds like it's gonna be a tough question to answer. Nope, super easy. Barely an inconvenience, actually. Oh really? Well this woman, Amanda Waller, realizes the only way to stop that from happening is to form a team comprised of a crazy lady with a baseball bat, a dude who's good with guns, a guy who can shoot fire, but doesn't wanna, an alcoholic Australian with a stick, a reptile, and also a witch who does weird things with her hips. What kind of things? Like if you tried to take your pants off without using your hands, it would probably look something like this. Wow, so this is like a lot of characters to introduce. Yeah, but I figure we could just freeze on them for a few seconds each and throw a bunch of text on the screen. And people are gonna have time to read all that? Well, I guess when people watch it at home, they can hit pause and read it. What about the people that paid to see it in theaters? Oh, well, they'll just have to deal with you know, not having character development. <laughs> Fair enough, and so the idea is that these people would be able to stop Superman from stealing the president. That's what we're going with. Okay, well, sounds like an interesting group of heroes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they're all incarcerated criminals. What? Yeah, Amanda Waller has to force them all to join the team by putting tiny bombs in their necks. Why would she want a team of bad guys? Are all the heroes dead or something? No, actually, Batman and The Flash have cameos. Oh, so they like <laughs> show up and help the Suicide Squad once they turn good? No, they're the ones who put the Suicide Squad in jail. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm a little confused. Well, part of the concept is that the government will use them for covert missions, and if something goes wrong, they just blame everything on the Suicide Squad. Oh, okay, I got you. So, so what do they go up against in the movie? Well, the Witch Enchantress goes rogue, and so she makes a giant doomsday sky beam, and she also has an army of zombies with blackberries for heads. <laughs> and Enchantress is part of the Suicide Squad. That's right. So it really is the fault of the bad guys. They don't even have to pretend. Well, technically the Witch isn't a bad guy. She's just an archaeologist that got possessed by a spirit. So if they don't manage to stop the magic archaeologist, she's gonna destroy the world. Right. And so if that happens, the government will be like, well, don't look at us. This was all the work of a lady with a baseball bat and a guy with a gun and a reptile and a fire guy and an Australian alcoholic. Right, with the stick. Okay, um, any other characters I should know about? <laughs> well, there's the Joker. Oh, the Joker is in this. Yeah, he is, but this isn't your typical Joker. How so? He's got, like, slick bag hair and he wears expensive clothes and he likes clubbing. So he's like... A douchebag. <laughs> exactly. But he's not just a douchebag, you know? He's also very damaged. How are we gonna get that across? Oh, We're gonna tattoo the word damaged on his forehead. That'll do it. Yeah, he actually has a lot of clever tattoos like that. What are some of the other ones? Well, he's got like a laughing mouth on his hand. Oh, because he's the Joker. Right, and he also has a Joker skull on his chest. Okay, yeah, because he's the Joker. Yeah, and he has the word Joker written <laughs> on his stomach. That makes a lot of sense because he's the Joker. Yeah, and on his chest and arms, he also has like, ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, 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 because he's the Joker. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but that, yeah, that also works that way. Very cool. So what's his role in the movie? Oh, he's like barely gonna be in it. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna kind of show up once in a while like, hey everyone, look how crazy I am. Whoa. Okay, interesting. Whoa. And then during the big mission, he's gonna help Harley Quinn escape in a helicopter. Oh, well that's important. Yeah, but it's not gonna work and the chopper's gonna crash and explode almost immediately. Okay, so he really has no effect on the plot whatsoever. No, you could cut him out and the plot would be exactly the same. Yeah. Well, I guess killing the Joker in a helicopter crash is gonna be a big surprise. Oh, he's not gonna die. Really? He's gonna survive a helicopter crash? Yeah, helicopter crashes in this movie aren't really a big deal. <laughs> oh, they're not lethal? No, not at all. It's actually kind of just how people get to the ground. <laughs> wow, so how does the movie end? Well, the squad have to kill Enchantress, <laughs> but first they have to fight her brother, who's like, a thing. So fire guy is like, good news everyone, I'm secretly a big fire guy. That's a good twist. Yeah, so big fire guy lures witch brother into a corner where an army guy is gonna blow them all up. Wow, but I guess an explosion wouldn't hurt the big fire guy. Oh yeah, no, he dies. Oh really? So everyone in the squad is like, oh no, fire guy. Nobody cares about the army guy sacrificing himself too? Not even a little. That's cold. Yeah, so then they kill Enchantress, they go back to jail, and that's it. That's it? Yep. So what do you think? Well, the only part that feels a little weird to me is the fact that the Joker is in the movie, but he's not the main villain. Right. Okay. So I just want to double check. You're absolutely sure that that's the right way to go about this. 100%. I will stand by that decision till the day I die. <laughs> well then, let's do it. Great. <laughs>
<laughs> For those that are new here, or maybe you just don't know, and just so you're aware, I'm a little under the weather. I'm not feeling too great, <clears throat> but I'm still doing this. But for those of you that are new and maybe don't know, I I don't care for the Suicide Squad movie. This one. I'm looking forward to The Suicide Squad, which is James Gunn's directed film coming out in August. Hopefully it's still coming out in August. And I'm looking forward to that. And actually, is that is that a reboot or a continuation? I, I believe it's a continuation, right? Because they're, they all know each other already. It's not a rehashed reboot. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to that. This one I was very upset with. The trailer was awesome. I felt like the trailer was so dope, so cool, so awesome. Really look forward to this. And then it came out. And right from the beginning when they had the text showing up with the characters giving information on them, I knew that this was going to be trash. And uh, it's unfortunate. Great cast. I kind of do wish Tom Hardy was still in it. I'm sure he figured it was going to be trash. So he was like, nah, I'm going to get away from this. Maybe it was a scheduling issue. I don't know. But he dodged a bullet with this one. But would it have been different if he was here? Would they have given him more screen time? Because he was going to play the Rick Flagg character that Joel Kinnaman played. And so would it, be, would it have played out differently if he was in the movie? I don't know. Because it still is a good cast, but the, the film is just, it's its really bad to me. It's horrible to me. I have no one to see it again. It's just, I just really despise it. Is despise a strong word? I just hate it, I guess that's what I should say. <laughs> Most of the DCEU movies at this point were okay. And like it was said in the Honest trailer, Batman v Superman was not uh, taken very well by critics and fans. The Ultimate Edition is much better. You guys know that from me. But the Honest trailer was really good here, actually. I'm still going to give it to you guys which one you prefer. Both were, were pretty good, but the Honest trailer was actually a little funnier to me. I feel like I laughed more on that one. So uh, you guys still choose in the comments. I might still do a poll on the movie overall. Maybe your favorite character from the film. I know Margot Robbie gets a lot of praise for how she did Harley Quinn, and it was all right. But she wasn't the standout for me in that one. I, I like Deadshot. I wanted to see more Joker. That was me. I wanted to see more Joker. I, I prefer Joker. Jared Leto, I thought, did a pretty cool job, and I wanted to see more of him. And seeing how the director is like, ah, I should have made him the main villain. They should have, just like the cartoon film. I think it was like a, a Suicide Squad versus Batman or something like that, like a Batman Arkham Asylum. I can't remember, but it was, or Assault on Arkham, Assault on Arkham. Uh, that was dope, and Joker is one of the main villains in that one. They should have done it similar to that. And if they just kind of took that same groundwork and made it live action, it would have been cool. But we got this. They made this, we got this, and uh, now they're redoing it, and hopefully it'll, it will be much better. Hopefully. So those are just a few of my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about Suicide Squad, what you loved, what you hated. Let's chat about it. Check out some of our most popular videos on the channel. You can also check out our most recent reaction all over in that area. But if you've seen all that, and I'll see you guys in the comments, we can talk about this.